right, well today Andrew and I are at Bedford Street Antiques, one of our favorite antique places here in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Um, we're about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit because even though it's an antique mall, we can still do that. <laughs> so we're gonna head in and see what we can find. Uh, the music is not gonna be an issue here, it never is, and I figured we would come here because I'm tired of having issues with music lately. But we're gonna head on in here and we're gonna see what we can find. So here we go. Hey, Andrew. Hey, what? Come here. I wanna show you something. Does that look familiar? Mm-hmm. We have one of those. Yep. They want $25 for that. We should probably dig that out of that box and get it's in, the <laughs> it's in the dining room. <laughs> yeah. What is that? It looks like... See, that's the other nice thing too. When you go to an antique shop, you yeah. get to see certain things laid out and it actually can help you identify things that you have. Yes, you're that you're just it. having a box. Just laying around. $25 right there. <laughs> Get 10, I'd be happy. I know. I think it was just in a pile of stuff. It is, yeah. It's one of those things that it's just sitting there now. That's gonna. Record, I I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. Yeah. I have a text message on my phone with a picture of this chair. I was just gonna say I love that chair. I have. I and and you know where it came from. Sold. I, do, I know. I, I was do. just gonna point out the sold tag. Yeah, and look at the red one across from it. Oh my gosh! Look at those hairpin legs. I know. Those are amazing. Those are awesome. He was bragging when he bought it. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Paul, you braggart. Stop bragging, Paul. I love your we know you have good taste. It's always worth creeping back here because he likes to hide the treasures in little nooks and crannies. For some reason, it seems a little bit more accessible this time. <laughs> Ooh, like speaking of treasures, back. what's back here? What are you hiding? Oh, look. That's pretty. I have expected it to say Limoges. Limoges? Alas, it does not. That is really pretty, though. Hmm. I'm gonna tuck it here though because I don't trust myself to get it back there. Alright, let's go this way. Mm -hmm. There's a booth I want to check out that Sue and I absolutely cleared out the last time we were here and I want to see if they got any new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at these chairs. Mm -hmm. Those are fantastic. Ooh. Look at the inlay on those. I mean, they're not really my style, but I can appreciate those for the sure. Submarine sinking the ship. Of course, that's what you're looking at. <laughs> Look at the kittens. Oh, those are all Victorian cutouts. I know, I love it. See, that's a great way. If you get a bunch of those, you could actually do some really nice like decoupage with it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like that vintage Santa back there. Oh yeah, he's cool. They usually have nice stuff in this booth. Yeah. Are you filming? Mm, I think so. I want to show you something. What do you want to show me? Okay. It's 20% off, so it can't be awful. Oh, look at that. You just lost your sunglasses. Yep, I caught them. Ha ha. That one's got a couple cups with it too. Nice. Why, yes it does. Why you look there. We do not have this one locked. That's nice. I like that. Now, even though... Ha 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 ha. No discount on sale or firm. Ah. So that one would be $32. Now, does that include the cups? Yes. yes. Oh, it says cups as is. Mm, now what's that one marked? Is that one? That one's. This is Nippon. Okay. I was gonna say it looked a little non limage. Yeah, it's repaired. Oh bummer. Okay. I fun sponged you. You totally fun sponged me. I was so excited. I'm sorry. Look, I found a cider pitcher set. I'm the ruiner. Look at the Van Bruegel. 
pretty. Got some great stuff in here. Oh look, Hummels. Yeah, 65 bucks, 34 bucks, 42. I mean those, I think that, I mean I'm not going out to buy them at that price. I think what we got them for at the market, that was reasonable. Mm -mm -mm. It's cool Noritake. stuff. Noritake? You usually find it in the oranges. So oh yeah, it's blue. You find it in like a bluish color. Yeah, it's got the swan but no boat. And no little house in the background. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was actually showing this out to see this Oh wait, there it is. But it's in a different language. And there's a Chinese character. Henderbite. <laughs> wait, where do you see that? Oh, it's in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Hey, oh, Henderbite. Give me the play. <laughs> I just got to give you a hard time. You do have some interesting stuff in here. Definitely some interesting stuff here. <coughs> I like, I like the original stuff. This, uh, the re reproduction yeah, this stuff. Is, no, this is reproduction. Oh, I know it is. Yeah. Slip I don't decorated. mind the reproduction stuff. I think it's pretty. I think it's cool. I prefer the older stuff, but I think it's neat that they kind of brought it back with the reproductions. Okay, so this booth behind me is the booth that Sue and I were in the last time we were here. We found some really awesome treasures, so I kind of wanted to revisit this booth, see if they restocked, see if we can find anything else. And I can already see a few new items in here, but I haven't actually ventured in yet. I figured we could do that together. Um, but these artichoke things are new. <laughs> They're pretty neat looking. I think they're modern, but I thought those were pretty cool. They have like a nice design element. We've got the glass case. The last time we were here, we actually pulled out two really nice Murano pieces. I, th I think that's more of a modern piece. I don't think that's Murano right there. So we're not gonna go for that one. That's why we left that one the last time. That silver piece is really nice. They've got 12 bucks on that. Let's go around. Let's see. And look at that. Can you see it? Right there, Mark Sterling. For $12. Oh, it's marked on every side, Sterling, Sterling, Sterling. And usually, a lot of the times when you find this, the Sterling is worn off. I think we're gonna take this piece. We'll set the necklace back there. I'm really digging that. Finding treasure. <laughs> you find that girly stuff. <laughs> I'm all about the girly stuff. <laughs> Ooh, look, a little Lennox bird. I think it's Lennox anyway. Yes. Okay. So we've had two of these recently. And both times they sold for upwards of $15. This one's only four. I think we're gonna grab this guy for $4. Hey, check this out. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it is. It's sterling, it's even marked right I here. know, it's marked like on every panel. That's awesome. Look at this little guy for $4. Cool. I'm digging this boot. This is the one I was telling you about. I kind of like this piece. I think that's enamel. But I don't know if the little stand is actually for sale. Of course, that's what I'm checking out. Let's see here. We've got the shoes. Did we check out the shoes the last time? We actually do pretty well with these. Usually we can get about 15 for them. They have them marked for six. So, I mean, after fees and stuff, I don't know if it's really worth it on those. But that's a really good price if you're just buying them, you know? Hmm. 
Okay, how long were you standing there before I even looked at you and noticed? Like Probably a, a good minute and a half. <laughs> it was 90 seconds staring at you. Oh my god. Pottery owl. That pottery owl is pretty amazing for $8. It looks modern, but I'm totally digging it. Yeah. Some Paul's boots. I want Paul's boots. I want that for me. P.S. P.S. Paul. I seem to have lost Andrew, but I figured we'd just keep shopping and he'd find us eventually. Ah, yes, this booth. This is where we found a really fun snake over there on the wall. <laughs> and that awesome parrot picture. One of these guys, those usually sell for $20. Looks like they're asking $40 for it. All right, let's see what else we can find over here before we head upstairs. We've got Hummels. That's a really cute little pincushion. <laughs> $30 for the Hummels. Oh, that's kind of a cute bowl. Let's sneak through here. I like that. I don't think I like it $28 worth though. You guys know me and my feelings towards milk glass. But I just spotted this bowl. I can move stuff around here. Let's move this over here. This bowl. Ah. Look at a beautiful incised design. like that a lot. Hmm. It's a pattern I've never seen before and I like that it's incised and it's not raised. So I think we're going to grab this. It's $9. So we'll take this. And it's in one of Paul's booths. This piece right here caught my eye. It's got 45 on that though. I think that's too much for us, but that's a really nice piece. And this piece, I know we've looked at it before. It's got birds on it. This huge crack, unfortunately. I steer clear from that with the crack. But I did see this. It's a nice piece. Five dollars. Narutaki. I wonder what's hiding back there. That's a nice platter. Let's see what new goodies Paul has put out for us. Because you know he puts them out for us, right? Ooh, look at this. I like that. That's really neat with the strawberries. That's cool. Games. See anything? No. Look at that beautiful jardinier. I know I just butchered that word. We never find them with the stands, you know? Oh yeah. It's always just the planters. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let us go this way. Those look familiar. Do they? <laughs> Yeah, they do. Paul got the yellow pants. We saw those in a clean out once, didn't we? Did we? I did we? Know. I don't know. Maybe we did. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Okay. We've got yeah, places to go. Yeah. Mm hmm. What do we got here? I'm seeing a ton of these around. Harry. 
I like those. I like that flashed red glass. I really like that. I got a bunch of it in here. Coney Island. Blanche, 1903. Martha, 1939. See, now this one's actually cool. Louisiana Purchase Exposition, St. Louis, Missouri, 1904. 1904 World's Fair. That's actually a decent piece. Stuff from that exposition sells a little better. Mm -mm. Let's see. <laughs> Dig him up, partner. What price do they have on theirs? Ooh. I don't remember what we got for ours. I have to ask. Psst. Psst. 18. Yes. I don't remember what ours went for. I think we had two of these. I'm gonna have to go back and double check. I may be coming back to buy that. I may not, I don't know. I do like the pattern on that, the Cosmos. Mm hmm. All right, well, she should be done checking out. And we'll see you soon. Laters. Poetry in motion. No, it's just us driving to go get the kids now. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's it. We're done. Yeah, we had a good trip to the antique shop. Yeah, it was fun. We only got a few items. <laughs> see you in a few. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.